Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project, back here. It is finally not raining. Um, the sun is coming out, you can see the rain has just passed, um, the ground is all wet, and uh, it finally stopped raining. So I am going to get some barricade brackets on this, these gates so that they will stay closed better. Now I've got to figure out, because it's sort of breezy out, I think I'm going to have to jam a stake under here and one under here because the wind is going to want to rip these gates apart while I work and I obviously don't want that. So I have to take this one off first, because it's basically useless. Maybe I'll use this on a, some other gate somewhere one day. But it sure isn't doing anything for me here. get this piece off since that's sort of short and useless to me and put on a bigger piece in its place and this I don't need on this project so whoops we'll extend this out where are you who Wait, oh, there wasn't one in there. It's funny. All right. Now, I'm going to extend boards out here. Wow, that's moldy in there. Look at that. It's just never drying. That's insane. I'm going to extend out to here on both sides. I'll be back in a minute with the cut pieces. So... Now I have to get these on, if I cut them right, okay. Oh, come on now. It's awkward because I don't have anything to clamp to. Sometimes they don't exactly go right. Now, I want to get the barricades on before, or at least marked where they're going, before I get too in depth here on this. I got a mess of screws for the project here. Thicker screws, heavy duty screws. Uh, yep, they'll go in there pretty good. So, I'm gonna figure out how these are going. I think I'm going to center them right in the 2x4. So I think I'm going to draw a line, a straight edge, a certain distance up from the bottom of these. Center these along the 2x4, get these in, and then I can finish putting... Actually, I don't need that many of these screws, do I? Because those are going through everything. It's all good. It's going to hold itself in. Now I'm going to measure a straight line somewhere at random here at half inch I'm going to use my 
level to get that so I have a straight line. I have to figure out where I am because this is not. Uh, we'll do a different one here. It's all wet wood. Okay. I'm going to measure a half inch across everywhere. If I can. You know, I'm going to mark this too. I'll be back in a second. Now I want to go across here and across the doorways over there. So I have a straight line. It's awkward. Everything's wet and slippery. I think I marked it three quarter inch actually. Boy, that didn't work. But the main point is to get a straight line for all these boards, all these bars. I'll mark this other side and I'll be back. So I've got it marked. I actually am going to put this at here and the line will be at the bottom of that hole. That gives me more meat on the 2x4s going across. Let's put this here. This is a big screw. It's going to just fit. Already it feels like that's going to be very firm when I'm done with it. I'm going to go ahead and put one screw on the other side here, and then I'll see what it feels like with a board on. I realize that's not the end result that we're getting, but it'll give me a feel for it. So that's what we're going to have. Let me grab a 2x4. Oh, I have it right here. What we have here is a drop-in barricade latch. I'm going to get a bigger board for that. I might even go with a 2x6 for that later. But I'm going to go... I've got six pieces, six brackets. I think 2x4 is okay. I can't see that breaking on its own. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put the others on on both sides here. Look who's coming by. Look at him looking. Just breaking his neck. Uh, one day he's going to crash. He drives this way, looking this way. He's going to cause an accident. He is just nearly not moving down there. Look at that. Just spying on us. I gotta close that road off too, that's next. I need privacy for my family, that's a perv. So Melanie has a visitor, so I went ahead and did this. Um, it's pretty solid, the, the gate is holding on its own right now, that's it. Just this, it's wiggles, but that's only the flex in the board. I like this better, it's way better. It, the, with just the latch that I had, that gate was causing me trouble and coming open on its own all the time. So now I've got two more. I'm going to go ahead and put them on here because they're at uh, an interval. Eventually I'll probably get a bo bigger board, but also this will allow me to open the gate and drop the board in here on either side when uh, we're opening the gate. So that's going to be convenient for us. Right here. And that 
is going to be pretty cool. That bird's mad at me. Now, we'll be able to slide this out. Oh, it's pretty stiff. We'll be able to slide this out and put it here out of the way. I can't let go because the gate wants to open on me. And there's that. Now I'm going to put the other one on. Now that, that's a better latch. That's not trying to move or open. It doesn't flex. Uh, Melanie's got the other gate propped open for now because she's talking to a friend, but otherwise, that's why you see that there. I am very pleased with this. Very good. I'll probably cut a bigger 2x4. Maybe I don't have to. But I do like the fact that I can slide this out and put it over here at rest to open and close the gates. We're going to get this place bunkered down tougher and tougher every day. The cane bolts are on the way. They're going in the ground into metal pipes that are going to be cemented into the ground and th that won't have any flex at all anymore and then if a wind ever tries to take it out of her hands the bolts will drag across the ground and cause friction and at least slow it down so i'm trying to think of every possible way to protect this gate 